Namaste. This is Dr. Satendra Kateva. I'm a pediatric hematologist, oncologist, and bone marrow transplant physician. I work for Shelby Sanar International Hospital, Gurugram, Delhi, NCR region. So, guys, friends, we want to talk about what exactly is an autologous bone marrow transplant. Because maybe your patient has good myeloma, maybe neuroblastoma, maybe bone marrow trans, uh, maybe brain tumor, maybe some Ewing sarcoma and uh, maybe some Hodgkin lymphoma, maybe some non-Hodgkin lymphoma and your doctor has said that you need an autologous transplant. So what exactly is autologous transplant? So any cancer, when we give chemotherapy, increasing the dose of chemotherapy kills the cancer and if you still increase the dose of chemotherapy, it kills cancer more. But other than the cancer, it kills the normal cells also, particularly the bone marrow. So after a definite amount of chemotherapy, you cannot give because even if you give it, it will still kill more cancer, but it will kill the bone marrow also. Now what we do is first any patient who needs an autologous bone marrow transplant, we collect the stem cells of the bone marrow of the patient. We freeze it in the blood bank and then we use a very high dose of chemotherapy. Earlier we were using say, let us say 30-40%, now we are using 100%. So that will kill the cancer, but unfortunately that will kill the bone marrow. But now we are not worried about killing the bone marrow because we have preserved the bone marrow in the blood bank. So we will give a high dose of chemotherapy and then we will, after the high dose of chemotherapy is done, we will still use those cells which we have frozen into the blood bank and we call it high dose chemotherapy followed by stem cell rescue. And we call it autologous transplant because patients own stem cells are used and that is how we use this concept to help majority of the patients in the diseases which I have talked about. So you need an autologous transplant. Good news, we can do it for you. The outcome is different in different diseases and the risk between an autologous transplant and allogenic transplant is different. Allogenic transplant is not 100% secure, but is much, much, much better than the allogenic transplant. So the information I have given to you, I hope that now you understand is much better than before. If you are informed that you need an autologous transplant, kindly contact us. We will make whatever we can do to feel you better and together we might win. Have a great day, sir. Thank you.